Vito Paulekas was a freak. He was also a painter, a sculptor, a marathon dancer, a felon, an enthusiastic devotee of free love and a civic leader. He enlightened many, infuriated others and was the sort of influencer who would have blown up on TikTok and Instagram. Too bad he was born about 100 years too soon. In the 1960s, Paulakas helped change the way a generation danced by eschewing rigid norms of partner-focused choreographed steps that had dominated Western cultures for centuries. If you've ever been to a Grateful Dead show or seen the Woodstock movie, you'll find ample evidence of his impact. Paulakas viewed dance as a form of self-expression whose movements should be determined solely by how the music's beat makes you feel, and he led a ragtag troupe of young dancers, known as the Freaks, into clubs around Dell. A. They never had to buy tickets, Vito's dancers were VIPs at all the happening spots on the Sunset Strip. The club owner's mantra was fueled by simple economics, if the Freaks were making the scene, crowds would follow. David Crosby, a founding member of the Birds, says the Freaks helped spread the vibe about the band, adding, they were our first fans. When the Brits needed a place to rehearse, Pollock has let them use his basement. He became sort of a friend, Crosby, who is now 80, recalls. He was a loose screw but a good guy and, definitely different. Paulakis was easy to spot in the crowd of wildly attired, spasmodically gyrating teenagers, he was the old guy in his 50s with the wisps of silver hair, Salvador Dali goatee and white bell bottoms. Lean and sinewy, with snake-like flexibility, Paulakis contorted without restraint on the dance floor. B.B. Paulekas says his father was a magnet for the crazies, but everyone seemed to know Vito, his reach extended from actors such as Jack Nicholson and Robert Mitchum to musicians, Beverly Hills housewives and sleazy scenesters. Nonetheless, in the years since his 1992 death, his legacy, a small but pivotal contribution to the youth culture zeitgeist, seems to have been forgotten, his name buried in a sentence or paragraph in essays and books about Elrock in the 1960s or on obscure websites. It's a different story in Cotati, California, Pollockas is revered for transforming the small Sonoma County town, best known for its plethora of chicken farms and bars, 14 in a one-mile radius, into a cultural hotbed, a freak town.